So let's start the show. As mentioned before, we're thrilled to have a real legend of blues and jazz and roots music. Uh, uh, Maria's about to leave for New Orleans to make her next record. Uh, we were at Jazz Fest in New Orleans last year, and Maria introduced us to this fabulous band called Tuba Skinny, a, a group of great young musicians who just absolutely channel the uh, small group music of uh, the 1920s. And uh, uh, Maria's really excited to be making a record with them, and that she's leaving just within a few days to go and do that. Um, keep an eye on uh, what's happening in that project. You can follow Maria and, uh, and find out all about it. Um, tonight, uh, or today, she's here with her uh, fabulous Jazzabelle Quartet. So let's give a very warm virtual welcome uh, with Danny Karen on guitar, Chris Burns on piano, Ruth Davies on bass, and Ronnie Smith on drums. Here she is, Maria Muldaur. Enjoy! Hey everybody, thanks so much for tuning in today on this lovely Sunday afternoon. We're at the Piedmont Piano Company in Oakland, a wonderful venue that sells all kinds of gorgeous pianos and also for a long time has had, had uh, concerts here. They move the pianos aside and have chairs and, and, and I've been here several times and God bless them, they've decided to open up their beautiful venue and let uh, musicians such as ourselves uh, have a safe place to come and, and play music live with each other and live streaming out to you. So hope you enjoy our little show. It's called Blues and All That Jazz. And we're going to start out with a song written by Peggy Lee, the late, great Peggy Lee, one of my idols, who wrote this in 1942. She should only see what's going on now. It's called Everything's Moving Too Fast. A one, a two. One, two, three, four. It used to take a farmer a day to get to town. Now it takes a minute till his plane comes down. Cause everything is moving too fast. Yeah, everything is moving too fast. You better save your money cause everything is moving too fast. Yeah. You used to eat your spinach, but now you never will Because you think it's modern to take it in a pill Cause everything is moving too fast Everything is moving too fast You better save your money Cause everything is moving too fast Yeah, come on Talk of rockets shooting to the moon. I thought that they were crazy, but I'm taking one at noon. Cause everything is moving too fast. Everything is moving too fast. Well, you better save your money, cause everything is moving too fast. Yeah. Everything is moving too fast. Yeah. Oh, boogie, woogie, one time. 
for you now that I think I want to dedicate this to everybody out there all over the world. I'm so excited. I know people from the UK who are staying up till one in the morning to watch and we have friends in Japan and all over. And uh, so, uh, but this is for everybody all over the world because uh, I think this speaks to how we're all feeling right now. It's called, I Got a Right to Sing the Blues. Yeah. I got a right to sing the blues I got a right to feel low down I got a right to hang around all around the river A certain man in this here town Keeps dragging my poor heart around All he has for me is me got a right to sing these blues. I got a right to mourn inside. I got a right to sit and cry down around the dead. gonna be calling me It must be love Say what you choose I got a right to sing the blues Yeah I 
making a big lot of noise to make us feel comfortable because this is kind of weird singing to a bunch of pianos but I know you're all out there and I'm feeling your vibes man so uh, we're going to do a couple of tunes that I recorded long ago with Dr. John and uh, this uh, it was on an album called Sweet and Slow and this first one is a Fat Swaller tune and since it's Sunday I thought you know, I give a little sermon. It's called There's Gonna Be the Devil to Pay. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. You can listen to temptation, you can even go astray. But if you listen to temptation, it's gonna be the devil to pay. Well, you can wink your eye at morals if you can't live that way. But if you wink your eye, Gonna be the devil to pay. Well, all you sinners, you ought to know. Satan's waiting for to get you straight below. Where well, you can go to church on Sunday and wash is in the way. But if you're only good on one day, honey, that's gonna be the devil to pay. Oh, come on, tell them about that mean old devil now. Church on Sunday and even 
wash your sins away. But if you're only good on one day, baby, there's gonna be the devil to pay. singing in tongues or something? Well, while we're on this um, theological subject matter, this very deep, weighty, you know, subject matter, uh, <laughs> um, we're gonna do another song that I recorded with Dr. John on that same album. This one was written by a wonderful, wonderful blues woman named Sippy Wallace, and she was, uh, she was a contemporary of Bessie Smith's and uh, had a lot of hits. One of the classic blues queens and I had the incredible privilege uh, and honor of getting to know her and to perform and record with her. And uh, a little later on, my dear soul sister, Miss Bonnie Raitt also did. And you probably are all familiar with a wonderful Sippy Wallace song that Bonnie used to do called uh, uh, Women Be Wise, Don't Advertise Your Man. Well, this is a song that uh, Sippy, Sippy heard that Dr. John and I were about to go do an album. We were giving her an 84th birthday party in Detroit where she lived, and she performed with a wonderful uh, jazz orchestra, and Dr. John and Bonnie and I also performed. We were honoring her. And at the end of the night, people were trying to get her to say, well, now, Sippy, you must be tired. She was 84 years old. She'd been at the sound check. She'd been done the whole gig. And well, should we be taking you home? And she heard that me and Dr. John were going to fly to New York the next day and do an album. And she insisted on staying and pitching us a song because she wanted us to do one of the songs she wrote. There was a little piano in the dressing room, so she played it for us, and we loved it, and so we're gonna do it for you now. It's called, it's, it's Sippy's own personal interpretation of the second book of Genesis, in case we have any Bible scholars that are listening in today. It's called, Adam and Eve Got the Blues. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> Garden of Eden. They didn't know till the good Lord stepped down. Eve looked around and soon she found just what it was all about. Eve called her husband close to her side. She said, Here's a tree with fruit and it will make us wise. Eve said, let's eat some fruit, the good Lord is gone. Adam said, yes, it won't take long. When Adam and Eve ate the fruit from the tree, of which the good Lord forbid them not, they committed sin and trouble began. You know we're having some trouble yet the Lord said to Adam also said to Eve you too have eaten fruit from that forbidden tree Adam said Lord don't blame me cause every woman's crazy about that good old tree when Adam and Eve ate the fruit they got confused and Adam and Eve got the blues. I'll tell them about it.
from that forbidden tree Eve said, Lord, honey, you sure enough got that right Yes, I ate that fruit, I'll eat it till I die When Adam and Eve ate the fruit, they got confused And Adam and Eve got the blues Since that day, everybody's got the blues That isn't exactly the way my Sunday school teacher, Sister Corona, taught it to us. There was actually a, a nun, when I think of it now, her name was Sister Corona. She didn't exactly tell it that way, but it's a good enough. Good enough for me. Okay, well, we're speaking of wonderful blues women. Um, we're going to do a couple of songs from uh, an album I recorded just two years ago down in New Orleans. It was a tribute to a wonderful blues woman down there named Blue Lou Barker. And uh, if some of you guys go way back with me, uh, you may remember a song I recorded on my first album called Don't You Feel My Leg. Well, she wrote and recorded that with her husband, Danny Barker, uh, in the early 40s. And um, I decided to, uh, I, I got to become friends with them, and they were just wonderful uh, people and wonderful fixtures on the New Orleans music scene for decades and decades and uh, I decided to do an album in tribute to her and uh, so we're going to do a couple of those tunes for you. She was very sassy. She had a, she didn't have like a loud belting voice like Bessie Smith or Sippy Wallace. She kind of had a more light lilting voice but full of sass and attitude and here's one that demonstrates that. It's called Leave My Man Alone. Now listen here, gal, you're talking so big Lay off of my man or I'll rip off your wig You ain't doing any better You're just making conversation You ain't doing any better So leave my man alone Ain't so handsome, don't we really lie? He comes to see me, cause he likes what I got. You ain't doing any better. You're just full of baloney. You ain't doing any better, so leave my man alone. Ah, oh, come on. Yakking through your molars, yeah, ain't doing any better. So leave my man alone. Oh, come on now. Through your molars, you ain't doing any better. 
so leave my man alone. Thank you. Is there any way you can play any choir? Yeah, okay. This is so weird to do this on on video in front of everybody all over the world, and I'm going, is it too loud? Is it too soft? How does it sound out there? Good? Okay. Okay, the crew loves it. All right. So um, we're going to do another song um, by Lulu Barker and her husband, Danny Barker. And um, when you think about it, they recorded this in, I think, 1942. And uh, it, 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 they were just hipsters that were way, way ahead of, of the, the crowd on this. And uh, when I think that they did this song so far, so far long ago, it's kind of interesting. Anyway, it's called Loan Me Your Husband. Thank you. 
black woman But my man is slow as a snail I'm a fast, frantic woman Last week I went to jail I gotta quit this turkey He couldn't even get me out on bail I want your husband I know that it's not right Ooh, I need your husband No need for us to fight Oh, don't you be so selfish Long you man to me quite a few eyebrows back in the day. All right, well, speaking of New Orleans, uh, we're gonna do a song by a wonderful, uh, one of our national treasures, uh, a wonderful New Orleans musician, piano player, and uh, songwriter named Alan Toussaint. And uh, he passed away a couple of years ago, and we were asked to do a, uh, uh, be part of a tribute concert for him. And I had recorded quite a few of his songs. I mean, so many people have really, over the years, I had recorded Yes We Can and uh, Brickyard Blues and, and several others. And I was a huge fan, and I thought I knew all his songs, but when we were doing research for this uh, tribute concert, I, I found a song that I just fell in love with it. I'd never heard before, and it became our new, old, favorite, new old song. And um, I think it's a good one to play in these days. We're, we're going through some dark times here, but uh, that's why I'm so happy to be playing music for you guys. And uh, it's been so long. It's been eight months since I played live music with live, real live people. So I'm, I'm having a good time, and I hope you all are too. And... Um, Anyway, so here's a little song for all of you. It's called Optimism Blues. Some things that makes it others and I'll incline to accept whatever fate may bring up because I believe that there's a very good reason for everything happening and I got those optimism blues and it's about to knock me out of my shoe I ain't worn such a grin Love those men well I got those optimists 
feel better after I sing that song. Um, the uh, proprietor of the piano, the fabulous Piedmont Piano Company, Jim Callahan, is reminding me to remind you that um, I've never done this before, but I guess I just have we to say it. No <laughs> we ain't got no gigs, people. And um, this, is a, it, it, this is a rare opportunity to get together with with good sound equipment, good lighting, good cameras, and um, and be able to be socially distant enough from our <laughs> from each other, and still play some music together for you. So, um, but we're depending on. Um, hopefully, you'll show your appreciation and your love via PayPal. It's somehow written. It's somehow on your screens. I don't know how this stuff works, but if you feel so moved and you'd care to show your love, as they say. Please feel free. We, it, it's deeply, deeply appreciated. And um, we are going to come at you now with another song. Which is? Oh, okay, this is a beautiful song that was written by Hoagie Carmichael. And I, I recorded it, I think, in 1976 uh, with Benny Carter and an all-star big band. I mean, the band was just amazing. Ray Brown and... Harry Sweets Edison and Snooky Young and uh, just, you know, just a whole bunch of fabulous jazz artists. And uh, and I had the pleasure of, uh, we cut it in L.A., and uh, we invited Hoagie Carmichael to come into the studio. Uh, and he was a, quite an elderly guy at the time, but he came. I, w I was so thrilled to meet him. And uh, when he heard us run the song down, he... He said, you know, I used to do a harmony when I, rec when I recorded that with Jack Teagarden. And uh, what if I sang a harmony with, with Maria while she was singing? And we said, oh, my God, are you, are you kidding? That would be great. So that was a, an, a very special moment and a great memory that I have of getting to sing this song with Hoagie Carmichael. And it's called, now that I'm the age I am, I totally, I was a, a young babe at the time, but I really feel this song now. It's called Old Rocking Chair. One, two, three. Oh, rock. 
rocking chairs got me came by my side fetch me that gin sun for I tan your heart can't get from this cabin ain't going nowhere just sit me grabbing at the flies buzzing Oh. 
troubles I'll see Oh, rocking chair gets it Judgment day is near Change Thank you. Isn't that a pretty song? Hoagy Carmichael doesn't get better than that. Well, I'm excited to uh, learn that some of my friends in the UK are watching. Uh, they stayed up extra late. And I'm, I'm, I decided for that reason to add this song to the set list. Uh, and I'm gonna, this is a Mississippi John Hurt song that I recorded way back in the Jug Band, and then I also did it on, a, uh, on an album uh, about 15, 20 years ago. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna send this out to Bill Wyman and Terry Taylor and all my friends at the, uh, uh, the, the Rhythm Kings. I, I got to tour with them back in 19, I mean, I'm sorry, in 2013. Had a wonderful time touring all over the UK, and we did this song, and it was always my favorite moment in the show. So I'm sending it out to you guys. Love you and miss you. It's called Richland Woman Blues. A one, a two, a three. <laughs> And a poppy red fruit, a shingle bob haircut, and a shot of good booze. Hurry home, sweet papa. Don't you take no time if you wait too long, daddy. Your mama will be gone. Hurry down to the dress. Get the one looks best Your own pretty mama She wants a brand new dress Hurry home, sweet papa Don't you take your time Cause if you wait too long, daddy Your mama will be gone Oh, come on now, hurry home So 
church, watch me go. My little wings are sprouted out. The preacher told me so. Hurry home, sweet papa. Don't you take your time. Cause if you wait too long, papa, your mama will be gone. Come along. Everything's sitting right You know my husband gone away Till next Saturday night Ooh, hurry home, sweet papa Don't you take your time Cause if you wait too long, daddy Your mama will be gone Yeah, that's, thank you. I love that song. I've been singing it a long time. I also should send that out to John Sebastian because we love to sing that one. We love to do that one together. Hi, Giovanni. He's listening from Woodstock, New York. Okay, now. So we're going we're gonna, to um, do one more Blue Lou Barker song. And uh, it's, it, it, before I was mentioning Sippy Wallace and I mentioned the song that Bonnie recorded of hers called uh, Don't Advertise Your Man. Well, this is basically the same message. It's called Never Brag About Your Man or You Will Be Without Your Man. One, two, one, two, three. Uh-oh. I can't hear you. I'm a one, a two. two. about your man or you will be without your man Sonny always did those lovely things he should but he quit the day I bragged that he was good I regret the things I said I guess I must have swelled his head cause since I bragged about him he ain't worth a dime Outside demonstrating takes up all his time Never brag about your man Or you will be without your man Now if your man can beat a drum And beat it good, just keep it mum I bragged he had the greatest rhythm stick in town It was the chance for every chick to hang around now if he blows above I see Keep it quiet as can be Cause if you don't some gal will take him off your hands You can't always be there on those one night stands Never brag about your man Or you will be without your man I'll take your time now
some very good advice. And speaking of advice, we're going to do a, a song written by Eric Bibb. He wrote it just for me for a project we did together with Rory Block some years ago. And in this song, the great queen of the blues herself, Bessie Smith, comes down to this young woman in her dreams and gives her the whole lowdown, the whole nitty gritty on the entire man-woman issue, if you know what I mean. And you figure, who would have known it better than Bessie? She must have seen it all. So all you gals out there, listen up good, because this is some priceless advice. It's called Bessie's Advice. If the shoe don't fit, honey, don't keep it on. If you're looking for a king, why settle for a pawn? If you don't want to stay, girl, get gone. It's all right, that's what Bessie told me in my dream last night. And if he raises his voice, you look him straight in the eye. If he raises his hand, huh, you tell him don't even try. If he tries to raise hell, tell him bye bye. Why fight? That's what Bessie told me in my dream last night. Don't you mess with no dude. That's rude and mean Cause baby sister Now don't you realize That you're a queen what you want baby just tell him come on in wave goodbye to your fears till they're clean out of sight that's what Bessie told me in my dream last night and I always 
I always take Bessie's advice. You know, she's just like a mama to me. Yeah. She said, love that man, but if you treat you me, honey, you just get up and walk right off of that scene. And that's what Bessie told me. That's what Bessie said she told me. That's what Bessie told me in my dream last night. And I always, I always have Bessie's Thank you. Thank you. Say it again. Introduce the band. Okay. I've got, I've got my coaches and managers up here. Um, I'm going to introduce the band after the next song. So, what would a Maria Maldar concert be without doing this next song? I've, uh, I recorded it back in 1974, and for some odd reason, it, people loved it, and it became a huge hit all over the world. And um, I got two Grammy nominations for it. I, I, I was on the cover of Rolling Stone. I it was climbed to the top of the charts. And to this day, people still love it. Go figure, a song about a camel. I'll never quite understand, but I'm so glad that over the years you've all loved this song. So sending it out to all my friends and fans all over the world. Here it is, midnight at the you-know-what. Send your camel to bed Shadows painting our faces Traces Romance in our hair Heaven's holding a half moon Ooh, Shining just for us Let's slip off to a sand dune and kick up a little dust Come on, cactus is our friend He'll point out the way Come on, till the evening ends Till the evening ends You, you don't have to answer, baby Oh, 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 you know there's no need to speak I'll be your belly dancer, prancer And you can be my sheep i 
till the evening and midnight at the oasis. Come on and send your crazy little camel to bed. Shadows faint in our faces, traces of romance in our sitting in a piano showroom, playing for all of you. I hope you've enjoyed our little show. And uh, uh, they're reminding me again to remind you, if you want to show your love, just go to the pen, pen pal, what's it called? No, PayPal. PayPal. <laughs> yeah. Pen pal's what you want if you're in prison. <laughs> so anyway, go to PayPal and, uh, and, and show a little love and we'd appreciate it and and we're just more than that appreciate that you tuned in today and we could share a little some of these funny fun tunes with you and bring you a little joy as we sludge through the tribulations we're all going through one more thing i didn't do any political songs but just want to say whatever you do don't forget to register and don't forget to vote. If you have to crawl across broken glass, sit at the post office for three days, whatever it is, let's all do that and let's, let's all get out there and vote. Love you all so much. I want to introduce the band to you. Over there on the guitar, playing the blues from the bottom of his shoes, one of my favorite guitar players to play with. It's a rare treat and we're so happy to have him with us here today. Danny Karen. Uh, back there on the drums, beating out those passionate, swampy rhythms of love and singing those wonderful vocals. Let's hear it through the internet and in person for Ronnie Smith on the drums. Back there on the bass, holding down the groove, I call her the Groove Meister, the slinky, the wonderful, one of my favorite bass players ever, Ruth Davies on the, on the bass. And last but not least, the maestro of, of all of us, my, my piano player and musical director for like over 26 years. But who's counting? Chris Burns on the keys. We want to thank Jim Callahan and Piedmont Piano for putting this together so that not only us, but so many other artists that have been sitting around in their living rooms just itching to get together and play, can come out and play for you. And uh, we just decided, I thought I would announce this now, that um, every year we get together and do a wonderful Christmas show. And um, so we're going to, it's called Christmas at the Oasis. And it's a wonderful bunch of blues and jazz Christmas tunes from the 20s and 30s. And uh, you can tell that's where I live musically. And um, so we're going to be here December 20th. Uh, it's a Sunday, right? So we'll, we'll be here. So mark your calendars, because we'll bring you a whole bunch of swinging Christmas joy. None of that, you know, deck the halls or the little drummer boy, none of that corny stuff. We, 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 we play Christmas tunes for hipsters. And one more thing before I go is that, um, speaking of vintage jazz and blues from the 20s and 30s, Thursday I'm flying to New Orleans to record my 42nd album with a wonderful band down there called Tuba Skinny. And they are just, they're a bunch of young folks who, who play that music with such reverence and such soulfulness. Uh, and of course I heard them a couple of years ago and fell in love with them and um, through the graces of God and good fortune, we've been given the opportunity to make an album. And the name of the album is going to be called Let's Get Happy Together. 
which I think is very timely. So stay tuned for that. And now for our last song of the evening, I want to thank uh, the last music company for putting this album out. And um, uh, this album, the Blue Lou Barker tribute album, and this is the title song from this, an old favorite called Don't You Feel My Leg. <laughs> Feel my thigh. If you feel my thigh, you wanna go too high. So don't you feel my leg? Don't you buy no ride, baby? Don't you buy me no ride? Cause honey, if you give me whiskey, I'll just put a lampshade on the head and get too frisky. Then you're in for a real surprise. So don't you buy me no ride Said you'd take me dancing Buy me just a little glass of wine But I know you, you got something else on your mind You said we'd have a ball and have a lovely time But You feel my leg, you just might want to feel my thigh. Feel my thigh, gonna get you high, so don't you feel my leg. Oh, feel it now, come on, take me down to New Orleans. Take it easy and make it greasy, baby. just got one thing on your mind. You said we'd have a ball and have a perfectly respectable time. But what I got in mind, oh my, don't you feel? Cause if you feel my leg, you ain't gonna be able to resist my plump little thigh. Feel my thigh, it's gonna get you high. So don't you feel my leg? Don't you feel my leg? Don't you feel? I love to do that. Remember how James Brown always used to do, hit me, bam. Gives you a real feeling of power. Watch this. Talking about my plump, yet oh so firm. I mean my silky smooth. I mean my luscious satiny. I mean don't you dare touch it, baby, cause you know it don't belong to you. I mean my little old Thank you very much. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, if you want a piano, call Piedmont Piano Company. Thanks for tuning in. We hope we brightened up your evening. We love you. God bless you. 
God loves you, so love one another and pray for peace, y'all. Hear what I'm saying? Thank you so much. We love you. God bless. Beautiful. Maria Maldara and her Jazzabel Quartet. That was Maria on vocals, Danny Kieran on guitar, Chris Burns on piano, Ruth Davies on bass, and Ronnie Smith on drums. Now you can still donate, and if you haven't already, please do. Please give generously. These musicians really need your help. You can see the links here, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook or wherever you are. Follow those links. Um, please make a donation. 100% of what you donate will go directly to these musicians. Uh, thanks so much. Um, so uh, that's all. We're going to see you back here on Thursday at 5 p.m. with uh, Camille Thurman, accompanied by the Daryl Green Trio. Uh, you're going to love uh, Camille, vocalist and sax player. As we said before, look her up. Uh, she's uh, living in New York um, and uh, visiting here right now. It's a great treat to, uh, to have them here. So uh, we'll see you on Thursday for that. And you can still join our email list by going to our website, piedmontpiano.com. Uh, you can uh, please like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, we'll be sure and let you know about everything that's coming up. So uh, the showroom sessions uh, are produced by Jordan Perlman and myself. I'm Jim Callahan, uh, owner of Piedmont Piano Company and our on-site engineer, is Noah Hendricks. Um, so for all of us uh, and for the showroom sessions and for Piedmont Piano Company, we'll see you next time. <laughs>